This is the fifth lesson of grid component training. And in this lesson, we're going to add a couple of alerts to the order link list view. So let's get started. We're going to start this lesson in the Weiss Agility Design Studio. We're logged into Database 10 and into the Project Grid Component Training. So what we're going to do is, is take the order lines by order view, the list view, the link list view, and we're going to add two alerts. This is the alert page. So I'm going to, instead of going right there, I'm just going to show you that that page would follow the SQL page, the filter page, the button page, and then this is the alert page. So we're going to add two alerts. The first alert is going to be for request date to see which order lines are late. So we're going to look up the request date. And we want to see whenever the request date is less than or equal to a value. And I push this button to bring up value option. The value can be either a field variable it could be actually to a field variable on a record offset. In other words, we could compare this field to another field from a record before or after. Or we could, in this case, look at a date option. And we could look at a moving date, days in the future, days in the past. Zero date means now. So we're going to look at all request dates that are less than or equal to today being late. And we're going to put a description on that. We're going to call it late and a color red. Then we're going to add another alert. And we're going to look at the quantity back ordered. And when it is greater than or equal to the calculated field available to ship. And we don't have enough available to ship, then we have a shortage. And we're going to make that a different color. We're going to make that orange. We're going to consider the shortage not as severe as being late, a problem that needs to be solved. So let's go look at the grid itself. And you can see that these orders are, are old already. We have a legend here for our alerts. Remember the request date. Now the, the field that we select is the one that gets highlighted. And these two orders have problems with being late. But this order, which was in August, certainly late, is late. And the quantity back order is has a problem because the available to ship is negative. Let's move this field over next to this field so they're a little more obvious. And we'll save that. So now we have the visibility into the orders above. And we can see here below by alerts where we have problems with our shipments. And that's how we go about making alerts and that's the end of this lesson. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial and I encourage you to move on to the next video tutorial in this series.